Funeral services have evolved over the years with an increasing number of loved ones choosing to have a celebration of life. Joining us now with more on what you can expect from this is Joelle Kerfoot. She is with Hetty Radcliffe Funeral Home and Cremation Services. Uh, great to see you again, first of all. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So much has changed, right? Like Absolutely. people will go maybe to, to funerals or celebration of life ceremonies. And I will hear this a lot. They'll say, you know what? That's what I want. Right, do you hear that too? And that's kind of how you all ended up with this celebration of life being a big focus. Absolutely, families have kind of transitioned from the traditional into more of a celebration and celebrating who their loved one uniquely is. Yeah. We're all unique individuals and we all have unique hobbies and interests and we're trying to celebrate more than mourn these days. Absolutely, it's, it's odd here. I'm having this discussion with you about this topic and I have a smile on my face because that's what you want people to have. You think of their memory, you think think of um, the smile and the joy that they would bring. So like what exactly is the celebration of life? How does it unfold at one of your homes? We ask families different questions during arrangements and that's one of the hardest days of yeah. their lives. But getting to hear them tell stories about who their loved one is and getting to know that person through them is a great treasure for us as directors. Um, but it's really anything. So we can have motorcycles set up in the chapel. You can make a car show of classic cars outside in the parking lot if that was somebody's interest and hobby yeah. um, or we've celebrated Christmas in July it's just trying to make it uniquely them and that all comes out from that that consultation that meeting that you yes. have with them to see what what would bring them what would bring them joy and it does it sounds like more of a party than a funeral kind of that old-fashioned wake if you will yes it really is um, getting people together is always something that we've done for years and years and years um, but turning it into more of that celebration more laughter than tears is mm -hmm. really the best medicine for people. It has to make you all feel good, like you really kind yes. of um, brought about a, a wonderful way to celebrate that person. So what components are used to kind of create a life story? What do you need from the family? And then, then how do you pull it all together? Hobbies, interests, organizations that they're involved in, anything like I've said that is uniquely them. So if dad really liked fishing, bring in his fishing pole, his tackle box. We'll find a way to incorporate that to make it him. And so when your family and your friends show up and they're like, wow, that that's him. Aww. Like this is perfect for him. He would be proud of this. You know, I know this was popular for a while. I don't know if you're getting back to this or you're allowed to do this. So is getting a meal together after the the memorialization still a preference and an option. Sure, we we have food with everything. It's a comfort for people to gather with their family and friends and, and share those stories. It could be anything from finger foods to a full sit down meal if that's what mom was really into. Mm -hmm. um, some people do tailgating. You know, if dad really liked football, that's you know, let's bring his favorite appetizers in from Sunday or Saturday, whichever football he was into. Mm -hmm. What if uh, a family has some of their own ideas? How do you kind of like bring those ideas together with what you are truly able to do within the space? Yes. So, so for me, I want tie-dye. If you're not wearing tie-dye, we're going to have a problem. But uh, tie-dye, books, Skittles, chips and salsa, those are things I want my family to remember about me, and I want those incorporated in my service. Mm -hmm. um, so really one of the best gifts anybody can give their family is coming in and talking to a director or a counselor and getting those wishes down, but also funding it so that you can take that anxiety and financial obligation yes. off of your family once that day comes. Uh, and where can people go for more information? And, and also how early to start this process? Anytime. Yeah. I mean, I'm young and I've done mine. Of course, I'm a funeral director, so it's kind of ingrained in me, but most people do it probably in their 50s to 60s, kind of when you're starting to think about those those days or a lot of times, unfortunately, it's when we've had that intricate loss, our parents or our grandparents that you start thinking of those things. Yeah. And where can we go for more information? Dignitymemorial.com backslash details. All right. Well, thank you for coming by. It's a difficult topic, but I think just in, in this conversation, people can see uh, how you can truly celebrate that life and, and leave feeling a sense of joy. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a good conversation to it have, is. but it's always hard. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you.